Green Air Supply Leak Check Procedure. If you have a spray bottle with some soapy water in it, that may come in handy later. Let's first talk about the porting on the bottom of the separator. The uh, top left gauge is labeled CO2 pressure. That'll be the gauge we're paying attention to today. The three ports that we'll be interested in today are the CO2 into blender port, the carb blend out port, and the nitro blend out port. So here we're looking at the actual separator. You'll notice the far left three ports are the three ports we'll be working with today. Okay, let's get started. Which blend is leaking in the draft system? Easy enough to find out. Okay, turn off the nitro blend out port, then turn off the carb blend out port, and then turn off the CO2 in port. Now we're ready to find out which port is feeding the leak downstream. Here's what that looks like in real life. All three ports in the off position. Next, we're going to open the nitro blend out port. Watch the CO2 pressure gauge for a drop in reading. If the CO2 gauge falls, look for a nitro blend leak in the keg or wine system. Here's what that looks like. Just a quick note, the CO2 pressure usually won't drop any lower than 70 PSI, so make sure you repressurize the CO2 gauge between leak tests. Okay, well let's say there wasn't a leak in the 25% or nitro blend out port. Uh, next, open the carb blend out port, uh, or in other words, 60 plus percent CO2 port. Watch the CO2 pressure gauge for a drop in its reading. If the CO2 gauge falls, look for a carb blend leak in the keg system. Here's what the carb blend out port leak test looks like. If you do see the CO2 pressure gauge drop, Repeat the test a couple times to verify there is a leak on the carb blend out line going to the keg cooler. After finding which blend line is feeding the leak downstream, air out the cooler before entering for safety. Use soapy water to spray down related gas equipment and keg cooler. Look for bubbles to identify leaks. Spray all connecting equipment and tubing. If the CO2 pressure gauge no longer falls after repeating this procedure, you are done. There is no more mixed gas leaks. Make sure you turn all the ports going into the separator and out of the separator back on for normal use. Here's what it looks like in real life. Notice the gauge doesn't fall. We open the port and it doesn't fall. No more gas leaks in this system. You are done. Turn on all the ports. And that completes our leak check procedure. Please check out our YouTube channel for other great videos. Cheers.